Hello, my friend. Good morning. I hope your day is off to a great start. Welcome to this kitchen talk where I'm in my little kitchen where I stay when I'm working during the week, um, simply because the light's the best here. It's not a place that I cook in. I wanted to talk to you this morning about um, a father and his son. And during the Bible, and the son is incredibly sick, and so the father goes to Jesus and he says, to Jesus, he's asking for help, and he says, if you can do anything, then have pity on us. And I want to look at three words from that. The words, if you can. Now, imagine how Jesus felt or what he must have thought when this man says, if you can, when Jesus could respond with, if I can, I can bring someone back to the dead man. I'm telling you, this is, this is simple compared to what I can do. But yet the man says, if you can, do anything, then take pity on us. It's amazing what we're willing to settle for. You know, sometimes we get fearful. I know I do. And I think if you're honest, you might too. We get fearful that whatever our circumstances are right now, whatever may be challenging in those circumstances or whatever may not be life-giving in them, I think we get afraid and fearful that that's just always how it's going to be that it's never going to change, that God's not going to step in and change it, that there's nothing that we can do to change it, that it's just how it is. And, and we become fearful that um, it's ever going to change. And that's the doubt. That's the doubt factor in the Bible. Because that's us, just like this father saying, if you can, God, would you do something about this? When really, you know what the truth is? The truth is that whatever it is that you and I are concerned about today, whatever circumstance we're in that just stinks, whatever circumstance we're in that's just sick, whatever circumstance that we're in that we just can't fix on our own or we can't see the action that we need to take to fix it, or we don't have the right medicine just like this father didn't to heal a situation, a relationship, a professional relationship, a circumstance, whether it's at work or at home in our lives. The real truth is, that if you ask God for help, you don't have to say, if you can. You can start today by just thanking God for the way that God's already stepped in and is taking care of it, even if you and I can't see it today. Because you see, God's already gone before you, taking care of anything that your heart could worry about today. Now, you may not be able to see it today or for months, maybe even years, possibly your whole life. But the truth is, God's already at work on it all. And even things that you don't know are going to be challenging in your life. Even things that may look wonderful today that, that may take a turn for the negative. Oh, my friend, God's already working on that as well. So we learn from this Father now. We don't have to say, oh, God, if you can. We don't have to exercise that doubt muscle. Instead, we can exercise today that trust muscle. Thank God ahead of time for all that God is going to do and the way God's going to take care of things in ways you can't even imagine, even better than what you could diagnose or the remedy that you could come up with today or the recipe you could cook up for life. God's got an even better plan. There's no if you can God in it. So have a great day, my friend. Step out, start today by thanking God for the way God's already working on all those things that you have concerns about. Thank you again for tuning into this Kitchen Talk. Bye-bye now.